All right, hang on a second. All right, this is Joe. I'm back. This time I'm at my favorite bike shop, Cross Country Cycle in Holland, Michigan, Woo! and my uh, friends here in the uh, in the maintenance department. What do, you, what do you call yourselves? It's not the maintenance department. It's the. Uh, Giggles. Mechanics. Room. I don't know what you want to call it. Yep. <laughs> um, I had my rear shock sent in uh, to Fox on my Specialized S-Works for um, service. And um, shop had an extra one, so they put that on. And now they're going to swap it back out. And my friend Aaron Regular here is going to do it in record time. But it's not a race, no. so we don't have to do it fast. But I was amazed at how quickly he did it the first time. So, Aaron, what are you going to be doing? I will be swapping the current shock, which is our shop shock, um, with your new shock, which just got serviced by Specialized, actually. Oh, box. okay. Yeah. Now we know. Now we know. Yes. Um, on your call. All right. Go for it. So as you're doing this, why don't you tell the folks out there, whoever is watching this, is how did you get to do this so quick? How? Well, a lot of these team guys like Joe, like to ride their epics, and they like to get their shock service so they function and make them, you know, fast riders and stuff. So after about a year of working with Specialized now as the head mechanic here in the bike shop, at the least, I've kind of gotten it down as far as how it is easy to get these things out quick and how to get them in a box and get them sent out and get the riders back on their own shocks as soon as possible. So through this, we're going to see how fast Aaron is, but we're also going to see how quickly and how, the, how well designed this system is for being serviced. Have you had to do any any others of these today? Not today. In the past year, I've, I could say I've had at least five to ten guys getting their work done on these. And some of it's preventive maintenance, some of it is issue stuff like yours. Mm -hmm. It just depends on you know, what they ride, how they ride, essentially. All right, and we have the spare shock off. What's the time over there? Two minutes, four seconds. Wow, two minutes. Just just over two minutes to get it off. I just want to give a quick wipe down around everything too, just to make sure that A, your pivot bolts, or pivot bolts, excuse me, are clean and functional. And B, I know this is not an area that a lot of guys clean because simply there is a shock in the way. <laughs> so. It's kind of due diligence. I'm already in here. It's like replacing the hoses on your engine if you're taking the engine out to do service. You just do it. And unfortunately, the shop guys know very well that um, I don't do a good job cleaning my bike. So, as you can see, it's a little dirty, which I always appreciate. I always appreciate a clean bike. Yep. Clean bike makes a happy mechanic. Happy mechanic means good service. But unfortunately, I always have to live a good service. <laughs> so I don't always get a clean bike. <laughs> so. You missed the trash can. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> this is just simply the yoke that holds the shock in the bike, given it's a specialized proprietary type issue, or proprietary part for that matter. Just makes things stiff. Feels like a fan. What's that water? I don't think it's water. What is it? Yeah. 
And I noticed that when you put the spare shock on as well, that you go through and clean all of the screws. Clean, clean all the pivot bolts, anything that could collect dirt or become damaged or worn out. Clean it, check it, it needs to be replaced. I have plenty of spare parts and spare frames laying around to replace it in that case. But we also re-grease these when they go back in too, mainly because any shaft type surface is also a surface that could create creaking. Mm -hmm. It happens. Yep. This is your dad's rear shock. It you. makes him go boing boing on the bike. Prevents boing boing boing. Well, he actually, yeah. Give him the, give him the damn thing on the brain, at least. Avery, why don't you back up for me, okay? What's that thing still with the bubbles? That is bike wash. Are you working on the same? <laughs> Thanks, Avery. Back. I need you. To, no. Thank you. <laughs> That's next. Speaking of trampoline, he's setting it up. I'm gonna start setting the trampoline up tonight, aren't I? Yeah. Beautiful night. Are we having? Are we doing any more things than this? We're gonna go home and set up the tramp. And then can we play on it? Well, I don't know if we'll get it all set up tonight. I can help you. Okay. Are you recording him fix your bike? Uh huh. Yep. Why? Because he's awesome. Documentation. And extra pressure on there. Because he's got some extra pressure. I'm kind of used to it. I thought I'd do it just to show how awesome you guys are back here. I that I, that's where that's the intent. <laughs> yep. Yep. like working on Joe's epic. <laughs> You're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> It is amazing to me how they got that all to fit in there. Did you catch that? Yep. It's pretty well, pretty well tightly designed and it's a way, way, way better design than previous generation. I think it's like 2010 through 
13 ethics by par. So that tube just fits right in there and That's all. sneaks the wheel. That's fantastic. All right, so while Aaron's putting the rest of the, the wheel on, that's it. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 seconds-ish, yeah. right? Or, yeah, I mean, 9.26 is what I've got. Oh, yeah. I started a little after you started. You, time, so. you started it right when he started on the project, not when I started the camera, so pretty good. There you have it.